I'm certainly honored to be here as the governor signs the Middle Class Scholarship Act into law. Middle class families have been squeezed hard, not only by the recession, but by a decade in which the costs of attending UC and CSU have doubled. The California Middle Class Scholarship is a new program that provides undergraduate students with families earning up to $150,000 per year a scholarship to attend the University of California or the California State University. This exciting new program is available to Californians who meet certain income and financial aid standards and may vary by student and the institution that they attend. Hi, I'm Scott Syfax, and today we're going to talk with students, their families, and faculty about the California Middle Class Scholarship and how this exciting new program is opening the doors to education across California. Uh, the Middle Class Scholarship Program was really an attempt by the legislature to address uh, the needs of students in California that weren't being met by the traditional forms of financial aid that we have now. Well, you know, if you think about families that make between $100,000 and $150,000 a year, you're talking about maybe a couple of teachers that are married to each other. or a plumber and a educational assistant, or some type of really middle class working family like that. And that's exactly who's gotten squeezed in the educational market in the last few years. I had uh, three kids, and all of them, they, they were uh, in, Co in Cabrillo College. So I tried to see uh, with the, all of them uh, studying, it's hard for me just to support them. But. Financial aid and loans and all of that is like the only reason why I can go to college. Um, my family doesn't really have like money to, they help out a little bit with like rent, um, but they really don't have money to send me to school and that was really one of the big reasons why I ended up at Sac State um, was because um, of like the price. Joining us today to discuss the California Middle Class Scholarship is Devon Graves, a senior at Cal Poly Pomona who has received the Middle Class Scholarship and is also the CSU student representative on the California Student Aid Commission and the executive director of the California Student Aid Commission, Diana Fuentes Michel. Director Fuentes Michel, what exactly is the California Middle Class Scholarship? It's a scholarship that doesn't have to be repaid by students attending the University of California and the California State University. So this is the first grant program for students who are from the middle income, 90 to about $150,000 a year. There's never been anything for folks in the middle class. I mean, low income families, obviously deserving aid, have programs designed for them. And upper income folks, they have their own ways of meeting the financial challenge that comes with a, a college education. Well this is a need-based aid program for the first time in California. We have a program that's based on financial need. Up to this time you've had to either have a merit-based scholarship which is based on a special talent or academics uh, and then you also have the loan program and many middle-income parents haven't completed the FAFSA, the free application for federal student aid because they don't believe their student would qualify for financial aid. So this program changes that. Wow. Well, Commissioner Graves, you're one of the first recipients of this program. What, what does this scholarship mean for you? I think as a student, the scholarship means a lot. It shows that California is investing in a socioeconomic class that hasn't been receiving a lot of the attention. And it just shows that there's people out there that care and want to support me as I'm on the road to receive my education. The California Middle Class Scholarship is a new program. This is our first year of implementation. And it's really finding grant money, if you will, to help those families stuck in the middle class that don't qualify for federal grant money, but yet still need some supplemental funds to help their children go to college. 
Berkeley has been sort of a leader in the middle class area. Um, we've had a middle class access plan for our students that, whose incomes were up to 140 $140,000 a year, now up to $150,000 a year to cap their parental contribution. But this is the first statewide for public universities initiative. And it'll serve a whole group of students that aren't well off, but make too much money to receive traditional financial aid like the Cal Grant. So it's very exciting to really preserve public access to education for the full range of students who will benefit from that education. California's middle class scholarship is for families with an annual adjusted gross income of up to $150,000. Every family must complete the free application for federal student aid, the FAFSA, or the California Dream Act application for students who are without a social security number. This includes students who are with a Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals or DACA number. For the 2014-2015 academic year, Families may apply for the Middle Class Scholarship by June 30th, 2015. Beginning in the 2015-2016 academic year, families must apply for the Middle Class Scholarship by March 2nd, 2015. New and returning students who are attending a California State University or University of California campus are eligible for the Middle Class Scholarship. In 2014, the average CSU student received a middle-class scholarship in the amount of $613. The average UC student received a $1,114 scholarship amount. Middle-class scholarship awards will vary by family, campus, and the overall amount of students that apply and meet all eligibility criteria. Remind us now, what is the FAFSA? It's the free application for federal student aid. It's the uniform form for students who are applying for financial assistance. Unfortunately, many middle class parents are about the myth. They don't qualify for any type of assistance. It's a free form. It's available online. And most colleges and universities require it if the student is asking for any type of assistance. It's not just for students from low income backgrounds. It's for low and middle income backgrounds. Well, let's, let, let's go back to that point. And, and Commissioner Graves, a lot of families, uh, students who would be about your age and their families, typically think if they're middle class that uh, they're, they're way beyond the range of getting assistance. And they just don't even try. When, who's exactly, who exactly is eligible? for this program. Yes, so what Diana was talking about is that myth that middle class income families have. People that are eligible for it are any people that are making from $90,000 to $150,000. For myself personally, my family falls in that $90,000 salary range, so that's how I ended up being awarded the middle class scholarship. Uh, I think number one, a lot of students don't think that they qualify for financial aid. Number two, they just don't know about financial aid and know um, what the process is and what they need to do in order to qualify for financial aid. For example, the FAFSA is something that um, most students shy away from just because if they've heard about it, they hear horror stories about what it takes to complete it. It's been changed. It's easy to do. The parents have to get involved. I think there's a lot of misconceptions about what financial aid is and how you apply for it and what you're eligible to receive. I think the biggest misconception still today after 25 years uh, that folks have about financial aid is they assume they won't qualify for something so they never bother to fill out the application. In California we're so fortunate with all the programs that we have and now the new middle class scholarship that we try to encourage families and students every year just fill out the application and, and let it determine what you're eligible for. It's funny because I never really considered myself middle class. Um, I always really considered myself working class. Um, my family always really struggled like paycheck to paycheck. Um, but this new middle class scholarship is really going to help me because like I said before that my family doesn't really have money to help support me so a lot of it is loans. Uh, receiving financial aid has been huge for me being able to go to college because um, there's so many expenses um, including you know off you know housing, commuting, whatever. Uh, you plan on doing books and all that, um, not just the tuition, 
Um, you know, receiving financial aid has been huge in helping me uh, getting through school and whatnot. We have excellent education programs, financial aid programs for lower income families in California. We're a leader in that area in the country with our Cal grants and other grants. And then, of course, people who are lucky enough to be in the top 1% or 5% or even 30% of incomes. Public universities in California are such a great bargain for them, an excellent education at a low price, but it's those working class families in the middle that can feel the pinch, and it's so exciting to be able to say, now there's a program for you. The California Middle Class Scholarship means to me that I'm going to be able to go through my college education and I'm not going to have to worry about the different things that other people may have to worry about because they don't receive financial aid such as that I have, the amazing financial aid that I've received. So I know that I'm going to be able to push forward in my successes and be able to graduate from Berkeley, hopefully with honors or something. And um, it really means a lot to me because, I, like I said before, it's taking a great deal off of my back and helping me focus and push forward on my education and focus on that. Uh, one of the things that I do when I run across uh, people out you know, in the community, I always tell them, look, give yourself options. You have to be informed. You have to know what's available to you. You'll be surprised how many scholarships there are out there. What you think it's going to cost you is probably totally off the mark. One of the misconceptions for people out in the community especially the poor community, they have no idea what it costs. They have no idea whether it's going to be $10,000 or $5,000 or $50,000. For them, it's still expensive. And I think that really is uh, the, the major point that we have to overcome. Yes, I do have a couple of friends that I know of that um, you know, could be attending college if, if they didn't just focus on the financial side of things and didn't actually um, you know, didn't look into more on how to apply for the financial aid and uh, for programs such as the middle class scholarship as well. Um, there, yeah, I do know of plenty of people that, that could be here at Sac State had they uh, gone through and applied for the program. I think what keeps students from applying for things like the middle class scholarship is just the lack of knowledge. Um, I know in my case, I am the first person in my generation, like the first generation in my family to go to college. And so throughout my process, my mom didn't really know how to help me through that. You know, she was, she, the spirit was there, but she didn't technically know how to do everything. And so that was a big barrier that, um, that I experienced in applying to college and getting funding. Nearly 80,000 California families have received the middle class scholarship so far totaling more than $65 million in scholarship awards. These awards include new student awards, returning student awards, and transfer student awards. The middle class scholarship is awarded after any federal Pell Grant, Cal Grant, and institutional need-based grants for which the students are eligible. Private scholarships are not a factor when considering a student's eligibility for a middle class scholarship. A student's final middle class scholarship award amount will be based on the total number of students eligible for the scholarship statewide and the funding allocated by the California state budget. The middle class scholarship program is being phased in incrementally through the 2017-2018 academic year when the program will then be considered fully funded. If we're at our child's high school and we want to find out more from our counselors. What questions might we ask at, at our kids' school or with their counselors? Well, when you're talking to your counselor, the first thing I'd be asking as a parent is, um, are you going to have a FAFSA workshop on campus so I can get help filling out the FAFSA? Many parents and students are intimidated by the form because it is quite long and it has a lot of questions and they don't know what information are they going to ask, what information do I need to complete it. So that's one of the questions I would ask. The second question is, do you submit my child's GPA, grade point average, to the California Student Aid Commission? And if those two questions are answered affirmatively, yes, and they fill out the FAFSA and get their GPA in, it doesn't matter whether or not they make $80,000 a year or $150,000 a year. They're going to be considered for all forms of financial aid, federal, state, institutional aid, 
and the middle class scholarship now is that new grant aid that's available to parents and their families. Commissioner Graves, for students slightly younger than yourself that are still in high school or, or even um, college students that um, could use the help provided by this new middle class scholarship, who, what advice can you give them about what they should do, assuming that they filled out the FAFSA? Is there anybody that they should go see or keep in contact with in order to find out more? Yes, definitely. Um, on their campuses, definitely would want to refer them to their financial aid offices to see what counselors there can provide them to support to answer any questions that they have. That's always the best way moving forward. And also checking out the website for CSAC, checking out the website and making sure to use all those resources, tips and tools that are on the website to answer any questions that they could have and find the answers there. A large percentage of our students have families that earn less than 50000 So a lot of the attention is focused on those families with very low income. But um, in reality, there are a number of families who earn above $80,000 who are struggling to pay and are using unsubsidized loans to pay. Um, and I think that is where um, they are not aware of the opportunity that if they apply for the FAFSA, that there are opportunities for their children, um, such as what we already have on our campus, the Aggie Grant Program that targets families between 80 and 120,000. But the key is, you have to submit your FAFSA, and that opens a door to programs like our Aggie Grant Program or the new California Scholarship Program that's being uh, introduced. It was well worth filling out the FAFSA. I think I would have a lot more in student loans to pay off because that's what I was planning originally is to take out more in student loans. Whereas now after filling out the FAFSA and getting those grants, I know it's something that when I actually get in my career, you know, it'd be easier to start my life. Despite being a long process, filling out the FAFSA was actually uh, easier than I thought it would be. There were many questions, but there were also there was also a lot of aid on the website. Again, all of it was free to help me get through the questions and also um, help my parents because there were a couple of parts that they had to do. So it was actually quite easy to fill out the form. The Department of Education has made the application a little smarter, so it's not as overwhelming. But if you're having trouble, there's workshops every year through the high schools and even here on campus. Um, we have a big Financial Aid Awareness Month to help families through that process so they'll get through that application process and see what they'll be eligible for. First of all, you just never know. What's the harm in applying? If you don't apply for aid, you're not going to get any. Second of all, even if you think your circumstances are such that you're not going to qualify for aid, you also never know what's going to happen in life. What if something changes during the year? You should just try. If you don't put it out there, you definitely won't get anything. If you do put your application in and you're disappointed with the results, you can talk to the schools and see if there's anything you can do. I think as, the, um, as a former commissioner of the California Student Aid Commission, uh, I learned a lot by being on the commission. And, and I, I learned about financial aid in a way that I never knew it existed before. How much uh, of the resources that are available to students in California are really um, given to them or awarded to them to help them reach the aspirations that they have. I think that's really the important piece of financial aid uh, and the California Student Aid Commission. I think that for students who want to come to college, either a two-year or a four-year, uh, the first thing I would say is kind of finding a mentor. I think is a really important thing, finding a mentor and advocating for yourself um, because a lot of times we don't do that as students. We expect people to hand things to us and that doesn't always happen. And so I think that finding those mentors, finding, um, for me, being a part of organizations that help students was really important. So seeking out those things and kind of just knowing what, what feels right for you. Because some people, they, going to a two-year community college was, first was the right choice for them. Um, for me, that wasn't the right choice. And so it really does take a process of like sitting down and figuring out what are my options, what is it that I want to get from my education, you know, kind of thinking, making a plan really, I think. But, Having mentors and people who have been through the process is really important, I think. I really think that education is the path out of poverty, 
and a well-educated society is the key to a strong California and a strong culture for all of us. Yeah, I, I think if you look at the context of what was being trying to, uh, trying to be accomplished with the middle class scholarship, I, I think what we really have to look at is the impact that it's going to have over the long term. The California Middle Class Scholarship is opening the doors to higher education for students and families at California State University and University of California institutions across the state. If you are an undergraduate at a CSU or UC institution or about to apply, the California Middle Class Scholarship Program may be your ticket to the college education of your dreams.